Okay, hello. Okay, so this video is going to be about the heart in B2 additional biology. Okay, so the first thing you need to know in this topic is that a lot of different cells in the body join together to make a tissue and lots of different tissues join to make an organ and lots of different organs join up to make an organ system and then lots of different organ systems together make up an organism so a living thing like humans or monkeys or whatever it is okay so now an example of that is lots of different muscle cells make up muscle tissue and lots of different muscle tissue makes up a muscle which is the organ or a heart which is also a muscle heart muscle that organ and then the heart along with the different organs like your blood vessels and your veins and everything make up your circulatory system so that is an organ system and then the circulatory system along with your skeletal system your bones and your nervous system your your nerves and your brain and everything together everything together makes you the organism human being okay so now for the heart part heart part okay so what is the job of the heart now, the job of the heart is to pump blood around your body obviously and the point of that is so that the blood can carry the good stuff that all the all the all different parts of your body needs from where it comes from for example the oxygen comes from the lungs your lungs take in oxygen from the air and the blood pumps it around to all the different parts of your body and the other job of the blood is to take uh, the things your body doesn't need from all the different parts of it to wherever it can be let out. So for example, uh, all your body cells make carbon dioxide and they don't need carbon dioxide, they don't want it, it's a waste. So your blood carries that to your lungs and you breathe the carbon dioxide out. Okay, and that's the point of the blood, carrying things around the body. Okay, now the you need to know a lot about the different compartments in the heart and how exactly it pumps it. So let's start with uh, deoxygenated and oxygenated blood. Okay, so what the heart does is it pumps deoxygenated blood that it's got from the rest of the body. So blood from the rest of the body that doesn't have oxygen in it because it's all been used up makes its way to the heart and that blood is called deoxygenated blood. The heart pumps that deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Why? obviously, so that it can collect oxygen and become oxygenated blood. Now, how it does this is the haemoglobin in the red blood cells that your heart has pumped to the blood combines with oxygen in the lungs and it becomes oxyhemoglobin. And then that oxygenated blood with the oxyhemoglobin in it goes back to your heart and your heart then pumps that blood to the rest of the body. So deoxygenated blood goes to the heart and the heart pumps it to the lungs and it becomes oxygenated and the oxygenated blood goes back to the heart and then the heart pumps it around your body that that oxygenated blood around your body to all the tissues that need oxygen and now once tissues have used up the oxygen that they need that blood has become deoxygenated blood again and it once again returns to the heart who pumps it again to the lungs to collect oxygen once again okay so that is that cycle Okay, so there is quite a bit actually that you need to know about the heart. Um, it's quite complicated and you need to take some time to get your head around it because it's very complicated. But I'm going to try my best to explain it to you. Okay, so basically the, f the heart has four compartments and they're like this. There's two at the top and there's two at the bottom. Now if I explain it very simply first and then we can go into the detail, it's like this. The top two are called the atriums and the bottom two are called the ventricles and they are actually separated by a muscle called a septum. There's the right atrium and there's the left atrium and there's the right ventricle and the left ventricle and different uh, veins and arteries go from and to each one. Okay, so the right, the two atriums is where the blood rushes into first. Into the right atrium goes a vein called the vena cava. It's a very thick vein, about that thick. Um, and it brings all the blood, literally all the blood, deoxygenated blood, remember, because it's coming from the rest of your body. So it brings all the blood from the rest of your body that's deoxygenated into the right atrium at the top. 
Okay, and when that right atrium is full, along the left atrium, they both whoosh and contract and then force that blood into the two ventricles underneath. Okay, now when the ventricles are full, as you know, they go woof and they push that blood out again through arteries to other places. Okay, so if we look at the workings of a heart as on a diagram, this is what it looks like. You can see there's the two atriums at the top, the right atrium and the left atrium, and the right ventricle and the left ventricle at the bottom. And then you've got the superior vena cava, pulmonary artery, aorta, and the pulmonary veins there. So I've got a little code at the bottom. I've got blue for deoxygenated blood and red for oxygenated blood arrows. And so let's just show where the blood exactly goes to and from. Okay, so deoxygenated blood first goes from the body all the way around and into the right atrium through the superior vena cava vein, the major vein from the rest of the body. Okay, so the right atrium then pumps down and pushes that blood into the right ventricle. Oops. <laughs> okay. Then the right ventricle pushes upwards and pushes all that deoxygenated blood up through the pulmonary artery all the way to the lungs to collect oxygen. Okay, so once that blood has collected oxygen at the lungs, it makes its way all the way around from the lungs and through the pulmonary vein now back into the left atrium of the heart. This left atrium squeezes downwards in the first part of the heartbeat and pushes that blood then into the left ventricle. Like that. And then in the second part of the heartbeat, the left ventricle pushes up and pushes the oxygenated blood out of the aorta to the rest of the body. There we go, and that is exactly how the motions of the heart work. The main thing to remember here is that even though I've drawn the deoxygenated blood coming in first and the oxygenated blood second, the right atrium and the left atrium actually fill up together at the same time and then pump down together and the left and right ventricle straight afterwards pump up together at the same time. Okay, creating the double heartbeat sound. Doo -dum, doo -dum. That's the right atriums, the atriums going down first, do, and the left ventricles and the right ventricle going up for second, dum, do, dum. Okay, so this all happens together. Now there's one more thing that you need to remember about this heart, is how when the heart keeps beating like this, is the blood not going back to places it's come from? Okay, the reason the blood doesn't go backwards to where it's come from and it always goes in the right direction that it needs to go in is that these arteries and veins they have these things called valves so a valve is like this when something underneath it squeezes it's the blood is pushed out okay and then it closes again so when it squeezes blood is pushed out and closes that means that the blood can't go back can't get back down to where it came from Okay, so all the arteries and sections of the heart where the heart only wants the blood to go in one direction has a valve like this, allowing the blood through and then not letting it go back. And that all helps keep it in motion of the blood flowing in the right direction. Okay, so there's a final fact you need to know about the heart, which is that one side of the heart is thicker and bigger than the other side of the heart. And you'll probably notice when you see the pictures. Okay, so we've got the right ventricles, uh, right atrium, sorry, and the left ventricles. And there is a very obvious reason that one side is bigger than the other. The reason is this, the left side of the heart, the left atrium, 
fills with blood from the lungs and the ventricle also fills with blood from the lungs and it has to push that blood out to the whole entire rest of the body whereas the right side of the heart fills with blood from the body and the left atrium also then fills with blood from the body and it only needs to push that to the lungs so that's not very far compared to the whole rest of the body that the left side has to do so the left side is always a lot thicker than the right side okay and that's your heart